Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. When the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, our west coast became a potential combat zone. Living in that zone were more than 100,000 persons of Japanese ancestry, two-thirds of them American citizens, one-third alien. We knew that some among them were potentially dangerous. Most were loyal. But no one knew what would happen among this concentrated population if Japanese forces should try to invade our shores. Military authorities therefore determined that all of them, citizens and aliens alike, would have to move. When they arrived at the camps, the Japanese were asked two questions. Are you willing to serve in the armed forces of the United States on combat duty whenever ordered? No! Will you swear unqualified allegiance to the United States of America and faithfully defend the United States from any or all attack by foreign or domestic forces and forswear any form of allegiance or obedience to the Japanese Emperor to any other foreign government power or organization? No! Those who responded yes to both questions were allowed to fight in the armed forces of the United States. Those who responded no were sent to prison camps around the country. The morning of August 9th, the bomb was exploded above the city, and in the towering mushroom, Japan could read its doom. This was more than a routine bomb. It was the funeral pyre of an aggressor nation. After the war, those who said no to both questions were rejected by American society. What will become of these poor souls? These no, no, poor 